I'm not a DJ. How did I end up in one of the most famous bars in Estonia as a DJ? And not only that, but I only played video game music. In all honesty, I just think video game music is highly unappreciated. And so my mission is to change that and bring video game music into mainstream. But how do you do that? Well, you start by influencing your local Gen Z club goers. And that's exactly what I did. Now to achieve this immensely massive task, there's a lot of steps. First, I need to find a club. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's not gonna be an easy task. Luckily, there are some really big advantages if you live in a small country like I am. I mean, let me show you how small Estonia is. So look, this is Europe here and Estonia is right here, this small village here. And so when you live in a small country, there's the advantage that pretty much everyone knows everybody, which means that anything you need is usually just one contact away, which in this case is super helpful. And I just so happen to know a guy who DJs in one of the most famous bars slash nightclubs in Estonia. So I, I hit him up. I'm gonna show you exactly how it went. So this is me, right? This is me. And you know, he's been DJing at this club for like years. So I just asked him like, hey man, do you think I could get a chance to play at, uh, at this club? And he was like, yeah, for sure. I think we could make that happen. Do you have any idea what music you wanna play? I know it sounds crazy, but I was thinking I'm just gonna play some video game music, you know? Oh, uh, okay. It's for a YouTube video, it's, you know, for fun. It sounded pretty funny in my head. Y yeah, uh, sounds great. Let's, let's do it, uh, I guess. And that moment was the biggest win for me because that meant this idea that was just in my head, it became real. Like, I, I needed to get this done now. There was no backing down from this. I was committed. And with that comes step number two. I'm gonna need some music. More importantly, I need some great historic, nostalgic video game bangers. That was my favorite part of the whole deal. And at this point, I was just so pumped because I knew that soon I will go to the club and have everybody there listen to one of my all-time favorite video game bangers. I went through a lot of songs, but I had to choose the best ones. So of course we have this one. I mean, come on. Come on, classic, it's a classic, okay? And then of course I had to, I, I just had to put in one of these. I mean, if you talk about video games, you just can't not mention Minecraft. It's pretty chill, but I mean, wouldn't you enjoy this one if this was played in a club or in the radio once it hits the mainstream? Classic, classic. Oh, and I did want to start with this one. It's pretty cool in my opinion, but I realized that maybe it's not a good idea to play gun sounds in a public setting. But I mean, in any case, this is just an absolute banger. And for all the CSGO fans, of course, we have this one. I love how one of the suggested videos is Tom Model, Another Love. <laughs> it's been a rough summer. I've been listening to a lot of uh, Tom Model. But yeah, moving on, because the next step is, well, I don't know how to mix these songs. I have all these songs, I don't know what to do with them. But luckily, Estonia, as a small country, once again comes to aid. And I have a friend who is currently learning how to DJ, so she was really eager to help me mix them up. And as you can see by the reaction of another friend of mine, this mix was a real banger. I think I've been saying the word banger a little too much in this video, but how else would you describe it? It's an absolute hit. No, it's uh, it's fire. No, that's that's just worse. <laughs> Anyways, the next step and the most important one was to actually go to the club, play the set, and therefore influence the younger generation to hopefully adapt the video game music into mainstream and make it go viral. Should be pretty easy. After I had pressed play, all I had to do for the next 12 minutes was to act like a proper DJ and the fact that the dance floor got immediately empty after the last DJ had finished his set didn't stop me from hyping up the club in my own ways. One of my favorite moments was when I instantly spotted an actual gamer who really appreciated the music. And of course, I had to sneak in one of these. And if I'm not mistaken, I think I spotted a couple more, a little bit more shy gamers who have sneaked into the club to quietly appreciate my set. There were, of course, some... 
underwhelming moments. But also some moments every starting DJ will be proud of. After my favorite drop of the whole set from a remix of the CSGO main menu team, my set was done and my mission to spread awareness of video game music was complete.